everybody and welcome to another Barbie Legacy episode. Last time we had the babies. We had twins and I'm still not happy about that, but I'm gonna have to live with it. And now <laughs> for today, something I really, really want to do is I have mentioned in the past that I want Blair to have two dogs and a cat. And well, I think today is the day that I'm gonna get the cat because we already have the two dogs. Odette has already earned the creep milestone. My girl is going through it. She's actually doing so, so good with her milestones. I feel kind of bad for Astra because I don't even think she knows how to roll over yet, which is kind of bad. Especially given the fact that they're gonna age up today as well. They are going to have their birthdays in today's episode, which that is crazy to me. They were like, they literally were born in the last episode. Claire is off to work already. It feels like I just had her wake up and feed the babies. It really takes so long to take care of twins. But until Ren also has to leave for work, I'm gonna let him do some tummy time with Astra so that she can hopefully also learn how to roll over. Because once they learn that, they can do tummy time on their own in their cribs. I also just got another one of these things so that we can have a baby in each of them at once, you know. <laughs> Anywho, my dude Ren is also off to work. We luckily have the nanny here now. I think this is the nanny at least. I mean, I hope it is. Otherwise, this is just a random lady in my house. No, this is my nanny. Who, who is that other lady? What do you mean? Now she's gone. Up and disappeared just like that. You know what? I, I'm not gonna ask any questions. Oh, oh, she can sit up. Oh my goodness. Finally. What the heck? That only took forever. I love the dogs so much. Look at them. They're so silly. Oh, she's also back. My girl is back home. And she brought back a lot of money. Speaking about money, I want to actually check on my tree. We do, we do have some more money fruit. I'm gonna go ahead and sell that. Hey, thousand simoleons just from that alone she's really making a lot of money recently i am actually so impressed with her i think tomorrow we can maybe get ourselves a kitty because yeah i can only go into cast to do that because it is a little bit broken trying to adopt them so i'm just gonna make it easier for myself and go into cast maybe we do it as a little birthday gift to the kiddos when they become toddlers i can get the kitty as for blair i think i'm gonna let her start writing the last book of her trilogy so that we can get that out of the way. So this is either gonna be the last book or one of five, but I was kind of feeling a trilogy, but at the same time she has to finish five good books, so I might do more of these, but this one is called A Dragon's Breath of the Mage's Quest, and this one says, the goblin battle proved to be difficult. After many months of struggles, the humans and dragons turned to the great mage for help. I think it was goblins, but if it wasn't, my bad but we're gonna go with goblins, okay? <laughs> She's about halfway done with her book, but she is getting a bit tired, and I do want her to take a shower real quick before going to bed. Does she have work tomorrow? Yes, she does, unfortunately, so I am gonna have to let her wake up a bit early. So for now, we're gonna stop writing and then send her off to bed. The romance bar is going down significantly faster than I thought it would, so I think I might let them have a little little bit of a woohoo right now. Just to get that romance bar up a little bit more, I don't want it to decline significantly or anything. Oh, yep, there they go. We can have Miss Blair go and do her little morning routine. She's not been doing this as religiously as she did in uni, so I'd like for her to still do it at least once in a while. But you know, life happens. She's unable to do this every day, but she has babies now, so it makes sense. Blair is off to work in literally a second there she goes so she does not have work tomorrow or the day after so i'm gonna have that time to write the book as well as throw a little birthday party for the girls which will be a lot of fun my dude ren also has to go to work today oh look at these royalties it's beautiful but anyway like i was saying he also has work today so i think i'm just gonna skip through until they're both done with the work and then i'll see you guys straight after oh Oh my word, she's earned yet another raise. That is insane. My girl really truly is just bringing in the bank all the time. I, she has so much money at this point. 
And I say she because, yeah, sure, Ren is doing a bit, but he's not really bringing in that much money compared to her. I also think I'm going to start learning Odette how to stand. I think that could be fun. And maybe she actually learned it before she has to age up. As for Astra, I actually feel horrible about the fact that she is so far behind her twin sister. Do you guys think that I can put the baby into the back carrier and then take the dog for a walk? I've not tried this, but I think, I hope that this can work. Oh my god goodness it actually works oh she's asleep in the back carrier <gasps> you know what i have not done this ever and i love this i feel really bad for only giving this experience to odette but astra sleeping and in my defense i was only planning on having one of these so <laughs> i have favoritism okay and i I favorite the air. Um, I don't know what to tell you. But anywho, if she's done with this, I'm gonna send her off to bed. Because I think we might maybe plan their birthday for tomorrow instead of the day after. I do not love infants, if I'm being honest. It's a lot of work. OMG, she's standing up. Ignore the glitching. Uh, I don't think we have to talk about that. But she stood up. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I definitely think I'm going to age them up today so after I've taken care of them a little bit because they are stinky and they all need to take a bath after that I will plan their little bee day so I'm actually gonna let Blair make two cakes because I mean they both have to age up and it's also gonna be like a safety measure for just in case one of the cakes get eaten or something and in the meantime I'm quickly gonna add the event so this is gonna be a little birthday party we're going to add uh, both of the babies as the birthday sim. I'll do it at this park and around 11 a.m. I think that'll be enough time for her to make the cakes. I'm hoping at least that it is. So let's go ahead and plan the little birthday event. I'm so excited for this. Okay, oh my goodness. Cake number one is completed. I need you to put that down, sweetie. You're not gonna take a piece, okay? We're gonna add some birthday candles to this and immediately go make another cake. While she's busy with the cakes, I'm gonna let Ren come and sell all of our money fruit as well as water the tree. I do preferably want Blair to do this to get her gardening skill up, but we do not have a lot of time and I don't want my tree to die. So she's gonna make the food and he's gonna care for the tree. OMG, this is so cute. That is adorable. I might make another one of those so that everybody can get one. It also didn't take very long at all to make. So I might even be able to make something else as well. Okay, the birthday party is starting soon. She's almost done with her last dish. I mean, who needs a caterer when you are raised by a stay at home mom my girl knows how to cook okay so i am just gonna let her finish this up then we're gonna head over to the park to have the little party oh she's reached level nine of the cooking skill which is actually insane but look at this that is so incredibly cute i love that the party is beginning let's head to the park but i am quickly going to set up our little birthday event here get everything ready we have the cakes all set up as well as all of the little gift bags and the cookies i think we're ready to get this started we are going to go ahead and help to blow out the candles for odette first because she is the firstborn baby oh nobody's here to celebrate this is kind of awkward my goodness never mind i take it back that dude in the back was celebrating <laughs> happy birthday oh, okay Okay, this is serious stuff. We have to randomize the tray to see what she's gonna get. So for Odette, she is going to be a wild baby. Okay, spirited and full of energy. Sure thing, sweetheart, you can be a little wild baby. We are, however, going to have Astra blow out the candles as well. Oh, she's also a wanderer. That goes hand in hand with the fact that, you know, she's wild. But anywho, let us go ahead and blow out some more candles. 
<laughs> oh, what a cutie patootie. That's adorable. I cannot wait to give them even more little outfits and stuff. This time, at least everybody was celebrating, which is a little bit silly. But anyway, she is also gonna have a random trait, which is gonna be silly. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Look at them go, Beagle. Happy with their little gift baggies. Oh, that's adorable. What a cute little birthday party. OMG, I am obsessed with this. I've never done something like this before, like all of the little presents and the cakes. So I'm excited to do this. Oh, look at both of them playing with toys. Oh, this is so cute. I will definitely be giving them makeovers. They certainly need it. No offense to them, of course, but uh. <laughs> so I think that I will be giving the babies a makeover once we get home. And then also add a little kitty cat to the family. We did get gold on this birthday party, which is a lot of fun. But yeah, anyway, let us head home. So first things first, I am real quickly gonna change out their little cribs. It does look incredibly bad at the moment, but do not worry about that. I will be changing this off camera. Now I'm quickly gonna nip into Cass so that we can change up their little outfits. So this is what we're working with for Odette. She looks adorable. I cannot wait to change up her fit. And then we have Astra. She looks like such a friendly little baby, but yeah. I, without further ado, I'm gonna change their outfits. Okay, so this is what we have for Astra. She is such a cutie patootie. I kind of matched their first everyday outfits. Let me actually show you that first before I show you the rest of their outfits. So this is Astra and this is Odette. So the colors are kind of just inverted, but I love Odette. I wanted her hair to be extremely long because I never give my Sims a really, really long hair so Odette is gonna be one of the first ones that I play with that has really long hair so I love that for her but first let us just go through the rest of this little one's outfits so this is formal we have sleepwear party wear this one I also matched I'll go back to this and show you guys again we have swimwear hot weather wear and then last but not least the cold weather wear so for their party outfits remember this because I'll show you guys Odette's in a second so for all of her outfits, we have the formal wear, sleepwear, which is this cute little dress, party wear, which is going to be basically that exact same thing, just in pink. Then we have her swimwear, her hot weather wear, and last but not least, again, her cold weather wear and I love all of them let me know what you guys think about them but yeah I adore them I also almost forgot but I added a kitty to the family now so this is little Ruby and I love her I again cannot wait to show you guys what she's gonna look like when she ages up I can definitely tell just by looking at them that they are not identical twins because their faces are very very different I think the main thing they have in common is their nose shape but we'll see as they get older for now i'm gonna put them to bed because they are so so tired oh i'm so excited to have a little kitty also wandering around the house look at her little face oh my word i also think now that everything has calmed down a little bit i can go ahead and have blair continue writing her book what in the heck? I'm feeling very unsatisfied in our relationship. If you're mean to me while I feel this way, I may have to divorce you. <gasps> that is insane. I was not expecting that today. I didn't know they were having trouble in their relationship. Blair can't get her mind off her failing relationship. While very unsatisfied, the romantic relationship with her partner will fade away more quickly. Well, what the heck am I supposed to do to change that? They have no romance bar left whatsoever. She can finish writing her book tomorrow. I am going to try to salvage what is left of their relationship. He can maybe even wear a little Cupid outfit for her. I, I don't know. Oh my goodness. This is exactly what I was expecting it to be. Um, yeah, go, go woohoo now, I guess. <laughs> What the heck is this? I 
I cannot even. At least the relationship is being repaired slowly but surely. I think the woohoo is really gonna help with that. There we go. Honestly, the bar is basically full again. I'm just gonna let her go sleep now. I think for today, since Blair does have an off day, I'm just going to let her wake up, take a bath, maybe go for her morning run after she's had breakfast. What, what do you mean they have negative romance? They went to bed and it was fine. Now it is all the way in the red? What? Now? What? Now it's back to normal? Well, not normal, but it's not in the red anymore. I'm so confused. I really am not understanding how this is working. I don't know if I'm just being a doofus or if this game is glitched because something is wrong. Oh, look at little Ruby. At least we have that going for us. We have a kitten now. Yeah. We are also going to be getting a lot of money from this tree again because look at that. That is beautiful. Oh, I love my money fruit. Look at that. Oh, royalties as well. Oh, speaking about royalties, let's go ahead and finish writing our book now. She's level 9 of the writing skill. She is also gonna spend quite some time on this book, so I think I'm just gonna speed up, honestly. Two thousand years later. Oh, she did it! Oh, thank goodness. Okay, she is done with her third book of her trilogy, which might become a five-book series, but I don't know just yet. I am going to go ahead. Ooh! I can put it to the literary digest. I'm gonna do that. Hopefully I get more money then because I did it that way, but I do not know. This is, however, her third good book, which is actually fantastic. I think I will then make two more books, maybe in that series, because I like coming up with names for the fantasy books. With that, however, I do think I'm gonna end this episode off here. I think it's the third episode in a row where I'm ending it off right after she published a book. But it feels like a good time, you know? So anyway, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel as it really does help me out. And I will see you all in another video. Goodbye, everybody.